Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert from millimeters to phi and vice versa. In order to do this conversion, we are going to use the following formula. Phi equals uh, negative log base 2 millimeters in bracket. So let's get started. So we're going to convert 0 0.0625 millimeters to phi. So let's put in uh, this decimal number into this bracket. So we have negative log base 2 0.0625. So in order to evaluate this expression we are going to convert uh, this uh, decimal number to the, fra the fraction form so we are going to do it like this so we are going to write down 625 because we want to move this decimal point to this place. So we're going to write down uh, 6 to 5 over. So we're going to count the number of uh, places that this decimal point will move to get to here. So we're going to count uh, from here 1, 2, 3, and 4. So it moved, uh, it moved uh, 4 places. So we're going to divide 6 to 5 by 10,000. Four zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's uh, reduce this number to the simplest form. So the common factor between 6 to 5 and 10,000 is 25. So 25 into 6 to 5 is 25. 25 into 10,000 is 400. So we have 25 over 400. Similarly, the cone factor here again is 25. So here, 1, here, 16. So we have 1 over 16. So as you can see, this is the simplest form that we can reduce uh, this fraction. So we are going to put in uh, 1016 in place of this uh, decimal number 0 0.06 to 5. So we have so we have log base 2 equals uh, base 2 16. So in order to for the uh, simplify this uh, expression, we are going to rewrite it as negative log base 2, 1 over 2 raised to the power of 4, because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 16. That is 2 raised to the power of 4. So we simply uh, replace it, you know, the sustain with 2 raised to the power of 4. So next we are going to, you know, use the following uh, property of our logarithm, which is, uh, which is log, log A over B. equals uh, log a minus log b so if we change this to this uh, form because it is in this form we are going to have something like this so let's uh, change it to this form we have a negative uh, log base 2 1 over 2 raised to the power of 4. Same thing actually. So remember that we have a negative number here. So we're going to multiply uh, 
this uh, negative number true out. Yeah, so we have a uh, log by two one minus log by two to raised to the power of four. So we remember that uh, log base two one is equal to zero. So uh, and also remember that uh, this uh, can be evaluated using the following property of uh, of logarithm, which is uh, log base two one nm is equal to m log n as base n n so this is already in this form it is in this form so we are going to change it to this form in order to evaluate it so with that being said we are going to you know rewrite it as uh, so log uh, negative uh, open bracket log base 2 1 which is uh, we have already established the fact that it is equal to zero so we are going to put it zero here zero then uh, negative uh, log base 2 to the rest of power 4 is the same thing as 4 so we are going to express it in this form so we have 4 times you know, log base 2 2 now we we are going to uh, you know cancel out this uh, negative number it's because uh, anything times 0 is 0 so negative times 0 is uh, 0 so negative times, uh, you know, times negative, that's times uh, minus times minus is uh, plus. So we have four. So four times uh, times one because log base n and equals equals uh, equals one. So uh, log base two two is equal to one so our final answer is four so this is the conversion from uh, millimeters to pi so now we're going to convert this back to the millimeters uh, phi to millimeters so in order to do that conversion We are going to use uh, this formula millimeters equals uh, antilog over 3.22. So we're going to put in the value that we want to convert to millimeters here. So we have antilog negative four over three point two two So let's uh, divide uh, four by three point two two using our calculator so we'll have uh, 4 divided by 3.22 equals uh, 1.242 so we have antilog equals a uh, negative uh, 1.242 sure. 
So, remember that uh, antilog of A is the same thing as 10 raised to the power of A. So, having it established that, we are going to change this. We're going to change this expression into this form. So, we have equals uh, 10 raised to the power of uh, 1.242. So, that is an uh, antilog of 1.242 is the same thing as 10 raised to the power of 1.242. So with that being said, uh, we are going to rewrite it as uh, 1 over 10 raised to the power of 1.242. So this is the same. Next, uh, we are going to find it. Uh, let's rewrite it again. So we'll first, we'll rewrite it. We have 1 over antilog 1.242 so this is because we've already established the fact that uh, then our uh, 10 raised to the power of a is the same thing as antilog of a so that that is also the same as uh, saying that antilog of 1.242 is the same thing as 10 raised to the power of 1.242 so that's why we replace this with this. So using our calculator, we are going to find the antilog of 1.242, which in this case, uh, in the calculator that I'm using, I already have a 10 raised to the power of x, which is antilog. So here we're going to Find the antelope by, you know, typing 1.242, you know, uh, 10 raised to the power of x. So we have the value here on the answer of the antelope 1.242 as uh, 17.45 i2. So this is equal to 1 over 17.45 four five h four five h so if we divide one by 17.45 h we have point zero five seven two so this is equal to uh point zero five seven two so if we approximate this we have uh point zero six millimeters as the final answer so as you can see this is uh not exactly uh the same as uh as, as 0 0.0625 millimeters, but it is pretty close. So uh, this is the answer.